Welcome back everyone to some more ESO shenanigans. I've put together a little guide going through the guilds in ESO. New players will most likely have no clue what guilds are and the benefits there are to being a part of one, whereas long-term players will most likely be a part of up to five guilds by now. So stay a while and let's talk about guilds. So what are guilds? In ESO, you can form a guild, which is essentially a massive community. You can invite your friends or perhaps random players you've bumped into on your travels. Once a part of your guild, it makes things a lot easier when wanting to group up and organise fun events together. But what if you'd rather join an existing guild instead of creating your own? Well, that's super simple. ESO has an inbuilt guild finder, where you can search for guilds based on your interests within the game. For example, PvE, crafting, socialising or PvP, and the game will return with guilds best suited for you. All you need to do is send off an application. It's then up to the guild master to choose whether or not to accept you. So you know what a guild is, and how to be a part of one, but what's the point of them? Apart from the massive social aspect, guilds are usually created to bring like minds together to tackle this game's large list of activities. It's common to find guilds who will organise trial nights, or events to help newer players get cool skins and personalities from DLC veteran dungeons. Like I said earlier, it's a really nice and easy way to get everyone together, quickly, and effectively. In my opinion though, the most noteworthy reason to be a part of a guild is to have people to talk to and to get help from at a moment's notice. Everyone can usually be super friendly, help with any crafting needs, PvE content needs, or if you just want to talk to someone because you had a rough day, guilds bring ESO's social side alive. Now, guilds offer so much more than what I've already said. You may have seen these guys around cities. This is an example of a guild trader. So how do guilds get a trader? Guild traders are awarded to guilds who have reached a certain number of active guild members. Now there are only so many locations in ESO where guild traders are present. There are more guilds than there are traders. So in order to ensure your guild gets a trader, you must bid on it. The highest bid between guilds shall win, and that guild will now own that guild trader position for a certain amount of time. What does a guild trader do exactly? So you know when you trade items with a friend or random player? It's kind of similar to that, but more official and also gold is involved. Let's say you complete a DLC dungeon. You are lucky enough to receive a motif, but you already have it, so you want to go about selling it. You could go around every zone, typing in WTS for wanting to sell, then enter motif name here. But that's tedious, and sometimes you might not even get a response. But by owning a guild trader, you can put that motif up for sale at a specific price. Anyone who passes by that trader can search for that specific motif and buy it, just as if it were from a normal NPC shop. The gold will then be mailed to you instantly. This works on everything in-game, not just motifs. Now this is such an effective way to make gold in ESO, selling items that are well sought after, or flipping items if other players aren't selling them for a high enough price. Everyone can shop at a guild trader by the way, you just can't sell in one unless you own a guild trader. So to sum up, we now know what guilds are, how to join one, what they offer, and how guild traders work. I hope this has indeed helped a good few people. 
The aim is to make these guides for newer players, but to also entertain the older ones. If you did enjoy, or indeed learn something, then don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, then please feel free to ask. And also, if you think I should be creating an out of coffee guild, then let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.